The Turkish court is expected to rule shortly whether the American pastor, Andrew Brunson, should be released from detention. Brunson has now arrived for his hearing at a court in the city of Izmir. He's been at the center of his standoff between Turkey and the United States for two years now. He's suspected of having connections with terrorist organizations and being involved in Turkey's failed coup of 2016. Washington insists he's innocent. It wants him released. I'm not able to confirm anything for you other than to say that uh, the president's made clear, our administration's made very clear that we will continue to stand strong until Pastor Andrew Brunson is free and back home in the United States with his family and with his church. And uh, we remain hopeful uh, that with the court proceeding tomorrow that Turkey will see its way clear to free this good man who is guilty of nothing, who has been incarcerated now for several years in Turkey unjustly. The political analyst Ono Erem joins me now in the studio. Ono, I, I'd just like to try to draw a parallel and see what you think about this. Uh, with the case of Jamal Khashoggi, totally innocent citizen, no, never committed a crime here in Turkey, goes into the consulate, as we know, hasn't been seen since, potentially murdered. Andrew Brunson, American citizen, charged under Turkish law with these uh, charges of espionage and having been involved with uh, a shipment of arms that reached the YPG in Syria. Uh, and the American interest in the two cases, where Donald Trump at the moment says, you know what, I'm more interested in a multi-billion dollar arms deal, and then every other month, every month, saying Turkey has to release Andrew Brunson. What do you make of that? Well, it's, uh, to say the least, it's uh, the politics and uh, diplomacy at, at a disgraceful level. I mean, Trump has now just said, literally, that even if the uh, Saudi Arabian government was found guilty of murdering its own citizen in Istanbul consulate... And he's an American permanent resident and as resident well. And, and a, and a uh, staff writer at, at Washington Post, that because of a humongous uh, arms deal, that he, he'll probably be willing to oversee that. I mean, this is un unbelievable. You expect this from a, maybe a third world country. You expect this from maybe a, a country ruled under a theocracy, um, a, a authoritarian regime or what have you. You don't expect this from the United States. I think the United States has been um, absolutely, uh, you know, bringing down all of its values that most of the world looked up to for the last 100 years. Is there a particular interest from both the president and the vice president? Almost every time that Vice President Mike Pence mentions Andrew Brunson, he talks about the pastor's church. Mike Pence is a fervent Christian. Yes. Donald Trump, he looks for the evangelical Christian vote and the evangelical Christian support. How much is that a pressure from the United States that's being placed on Turkey, that particular angle? I think it does a lot. I mean, we know what... Uh, Pence is, he, he's a devoted uh, evangelical Christian. Uh, nobody knows what Trump is in, in that sense, but uh, he definitely sorts after those votes. Uh, we have to realize in November, there is a uh, very, very crucial, uh, you know, election in the United States. If, and it may possibly seem so, if uh, Republicans lose majority, there is a very, very good chance that it will pave the road for possible impeachment uh, for, for Trump. So this is very crucial for them. Um, uh, Mike Pence is, uh, you know, and also uh, Trump picked up on the same word that they are stressing on uh, the pastor being a good Christian, doing nothing but, you know, uh, a, a good Christian work for, for his church. Well, then either Pence or Trump has to come out and explain where exactly in the gospel is, is the lines about uh, a pastor doing work for a terrorist organization. So, I mean, people talk about, and people draw a nice picture. Uh, there is a supposedly, as, as, as Pastor Branson puts out, his, uh, his son, his, his, his uh, you know, uh, Muhammad Ahmed, I believe, who mm. headed the, supposedly the uh, Christian uh, Kurdish Church of Izmir. Uh, and they're trying to look like this is, is a very nice Christian story. What most of the people in Washington don't realize is that out of the Kurds in Anatolia especially, I could show you as many... Uh, Christian Kurds as you could show me Muslim Quakers or Muslim Amishes in, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. People don't understand <laughs> Yeah, this. in other words, hardly any. No. Right. Uh, 
Turkey-U.S. relations and the U.S. State Department pretty much saying that the future of relations between the country depend on the fate of Andrew Brunson. That's quite incredible. It is incredible. And it's very saddening. It's very saddening. Uh, I could, we could tell, we could go over hundreds of stories, but I guess one of the nearest would, ones would be uh, what Turks have done for U.S. in, in North Korea. Uh, and, and anywhere else, and, you know, hundreds of stories like this for a, any, any, any side of the country, doesn't matter, even if Turkey did this, to levy on, the, on this relationship, this historic relationship, on one person who is, by the way, probably not innocent, maybe not for FETA, but certainly for PKK, is just unbelievable. It's, it's diplomacy at its worst. Ono Aram, thank you again. Appreciate it. Thank you.